Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here is the long waited video of user interface series 4. So let's get it started. Today I would be telling you about guided tools. So if you are having an application and first time you are accessing the application and you want to tell the users like you have to select these options to create a case or you have to uh, go through these uh, links or navigation for achieving some functionality that a particular user is looking for. So for that we no need to prepare some video and again upload that link and all. So in Pega we have one concept called as guided tools. So guided tools are the instances of rule automation tool. So it's like uh, in a pop-up window we would be showing some sequence of steps and all. So those sections should be a read-only section only. Why? Because it just contains some field values or labels or some uh, data that a user can't access. So if you can go to records explorer under user interface you can see guided tool. If you click on this you can see the instances that are there. So a guided tool rule looks like this. It is a definition, this is presentation and this is history tab. In definition tab you can see here you can add as many as two stops. So this guided tool works on this functionality only suppose if you want to remove a tool stop you can remove this so what is this tool stop and what uh, what actually this helps for us suppose you are having uh, a pop-up where you want to show like welcome to case manager suppose now i am giving as welcome to zmart for example and uh, you want to show a on click of a button you want to show some pop up like welcome to zmart and you uh, want to display some uh, starting notes like that so i can configure a section like to stop one in this section i gave welcome note if you go here and in this particular label under identifiers i have given some tour id abc 123a okay now i am clicking submit i am going back to my sample uh, guide tool and here to stop anchor like where you want to stop the tool suppose in the same section there are around five to uh, six fields and you want to stop twice or thrice so you can give the to stop id this id should be equal to the tour id that we have specified in the section suppose you want to display some uh, other custom css you can give this always you can give this and you can see many pop-ups in an application where uh, you can see next back buttons also in a pop-up uh, while you are accessing the application for the first time so for presentation tab if you see you can see how many uh, still like how many tours are there uh, still you can give the process suppose i have added four tours over here so when user have seen first tour and clicks next then second tour is highlighted then you want to display like two more tours are pending you can give this and you want to hide some previous button you can select this option and you can define some formats of your tour and you can define over here for styling purposes okay now let us go through it so now i'm removing this 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 there are some options like show when so when it is always available or you want to show when a stop anchor is visible or element is visible or element is not visible so my scenario here is i want to show a to message when user clicks on a button so this particular button i have configured a section in that section i have added a button and here I am want to give us uh, Texas star to example and in actions if I go under add an action if you click on all actions if you scroll down here you can see manage guided tool if you select this it would be asking what is the tool class name and what is the tool name tool name is nothing but rule of the tool that we have configured over here And if you want to override some default to stop container template, you can give this and you can configure your template. If you want to go with the existing one, you can uncheck this. Suppose uh, you have seen 
like five tours over there and you are in the third tour and you have closed the window and again if you click on start you want to see from third tour not like the starting one then you can select this option always continue where left off if you want to show from the first time every time you can just uncheck this and what the, is the action to take when you click on that button so here i'm launching a managed guided tour and here i can show like dismiss the tour like if you want to stop the tour i can give a button over here and i can give a dismiss tour now i want to start this particular tour my given submit Okay, now I am going to the case, refresh in case, see I can see start loaded, if I click, say welcome to Zima, welcome now, if I click finish, nothing, it just it will close the window, always if you can do the close option. So this is basic idea of uh, showing the tool, not only uh, field values, you can show some uh, images over here, you can show whatever details you want in read only mode that particular thing you have to configure in the section that you are specifying in your tool stop okay this is the section and here don't forget to give this tool ready if you have many uh, tool stop icons and this presentation uh, as i have said if you want to hide some buttons you can always uh, for some progress indicator you can go for this so for more clarity on this particular uh, tool, I would be specifying some link in the video description. You can go through that and uh, you can explore more in this guided tool. This is the basic idea that I want to show about guided tool. And next is, suppose you are having a scenario where a page list or a data page or report definition contains so many results like 10 rows or 20 rows or something so you want to display all the rows in the ui when you want to display all the rows in ui then you need to go with some repeating values to display that so for that pega has given some option called as repeating dynamic if i go here under data display i can do an embed section but i can't find any layers here right so if i go here and click on convert to full section editor okay now i can go here the structure i can see here right repeating dynamic layout in this repeating dynamic layout i can specify the property list value over here see here what is the source there are different sources like property or a data page if you have a data page which returns many values uh, like list data page you can give the data page here and you can specify the sections and everything under this uh, dynamic layout so how many values this data page uh, consists all those results will be populated and if you are having a page list property for example you can give a page list property here suppose here address list one then uh, you can specify that and if you want some progressive loading you can go for uh, pagination as well so when the user clicks on some button, if you want to load the results or if you want to load on the scroll, you can specify pagination over here. And apart from it, in operations, if you go, you can see uh, drag and drop for uh, rearranging the items in the particular di repeating dynamic layout. And if you want to specify some layout also, you can uh, do that. And container also, you can uh, select based on your uh, design criteria this is how we uh, display our results suppose if you go to a hotel booking app and there you can see plenty of hotels uh, present in the respective area so at that time the back end logic is we would be sourcing the hotel list in a data page and that data page we will display like this in a repeating dynamic layout okay suppose if i want it to be displayed in another format like a table so if I go here, I can go and drag a table over here and in settings of this table, I can specify the report definition or a page list or a data page in property report definition data page or a property. I can specify over here so it would be like a customized uh, way and uh, suppose if you want to show there are around 8 hotels in a region and if you selected only AC hotels to be displayed means you would be configuring 
a particular uh, rule where uh, a hotel contains air conditioning then if then only if you want to show you can give this uh, conditionally row visibility and if you want to refresh a respective row like in a hotel like five rooms are there and if you want to refresh and show directly like uh, suppose if rooms are booked by some other user you can uh, give some expression over here and you can show uh, refresh the row and this grid visibility suppose if you want to show the list of hotels only when uh, that uh, respective user is having some manual membership or something you can show conditionally by using a one dollar expression and if you want to show headers and uh, footer of a table you can configure over here and if you go to operation step there are many things over here if you want to sort the columns you can give this if you want to filter the table you can give this and before the grid and after the grid you want to specify some actions on the results you can uh, mention those activities also in this particular area and row editing now i don't want to give user a feasibility to edit the rows then i will give this no otherwise if you want if a user can be uh, able to edit a row suppose in a restaurant uh, you have booked uh, some five to six item and uh, while you are adding it to the cart by mistake you added uh, seven items and now you want to decrease count of one item in that so you have to give some feasibility to user to decrease the count over there rather than clicking on delete and going back and adding another way so here i can go for the inline edit mode and these are the options that are available in the inline editor this is master detail this is like if you if there are seven rows uh, and in that uh, if a user clicks on sixth row a pop-up should be coming up and in that pop-up i want to edit some details i can go with this master detail and i can go with this uh, model dialog template and if you see here grid operations changes based on the row editing you have selected and if i go for none you can see the options have been strength this is presentation tab suppose uh, as i have said earlier you want to display like no rows available data you can give this this py grid no result message is pega otb section if you want to customize uh, based on your need you can go with the uh, with this section and do the changes and if there are no rows and in header itself you want to display you can go with this and if you want to display container header and uh, title you can go with this and you can specify the title of the table and this is the width if you can adjust the width of the table and this is styling default styling if you want if i want transform styling i can go with this otherwise you want uh, in a skin rule of your application you want to introduce some style for table and that table you want to refer you can go here and uh, refer dynamic select trees and tables this is the inherited styles i can define some style over here and that style I can refer in my particular section style other and I can specify the style type over here okay and on the table if user clicks on this particular table and you want to show some actions you can go with this so or uh, you can add some event and you can add some action sets over here this is about table configuration uh, you play around this and you get more better idea than me and next we can go with paragraph rule as everyone knows paragraphs are uh, very useful for us when we want to send an email or a letter to be generated and you want to specify some text to the user you can go with the paragraph rule these are also available in uh, records explorer and here you can see paragraph right these are the instances of the paragraph suppose if i select this paragraph rule see this is a message that i want to show to the user so i can type in here suppose if you want some uh, default styling that you want to apply and you have uh, defined uh, that styling in uh, acss then if you go here and click on source only mode you can see the the html format of the paragraph rule and uh, suppose you want to you have defined some span tag 
you can give for span and you can go for uh, class of the span like custom and you can go the close the span tag so like this you can uh, edit the paragraph rule and you can apply your own uh, styling mechanism so not only like uh, hard coded text you can include uh, dynamic values also in your paragraph rule for that pega has given some option like as insert property and insert uh, rule suppose if i want to insert a section that i want to display suppose i have a criteria like for every email that uh, i have sent to the user i want to show some image in the particular file then i can click on insert file and i can select some paragraph rule or some other section over here and i can configure it to be displayed as conditionally based on this when rule as well suppose if i want to insert some property like i have a value here uh, after this i want to show some case id like uh, for this particular case this letter has been generated you want to show that then you don't need to hard code anything just go for it and if you go for dot and uh, you can go for p by id or some other value that is available where it holds the value of the case id uh, like we were already example so like this i can select some dynamic values over here and if you want to display some formats also i can uh, format the value of that particular text and if i want to show it conditionally i can add a when rule over here and i can play around my paragraph rule and not only this i can add some bullet suppose here if we have added bullets and suppose if i want to go for whole size i can go for it if i want to display some other font for this value i can go with this like that and if you click on source you can see the source mode of this otherwise you can go for non source mode and if you want to align this you can go with this like central line right align and uh, this justify and if you want to add some comments over here you can go with this uh, smart info parameters and you can give this and if you want to dismiss when mouse is out of the range you can configure your paragraph rule so this is about paragraph rule i am done with this uh, user interface series 4 please watch uh, ui part 1 2 and 3 so that you would be more confident in uh, user interface area of pega so it would be useful for your career and as well as your project needs thank you please watch subscribe and share to your colleagues